Hello there. I am the Prince of Egypt. I am going to tell you some stories. Stories about the Great Egypt. I will show you around Egypt. We are going to see the pyramids, the Sphinx. And we are going to know their stories. Here we go. Today, I am going to tell you about Akhenaten. He ruled ancient Egypt for a period of 14 years, between 1352 to 1338 BC, as he took power after his father, Amenhotep III, and the name Akhenaten was at that time, Amenhotep IV, and the period in which he ruled was known as Amarna. The Amarna phase also extended to include the rule of Pharaoh Sennacherib and Tutankhamun, while the beginning of his reign was in the city of Thebes. Then he moved from it to take himself as a capital in a city called Akhenaten, which means in the ancient Egyptian language, the horizon of the disk of the sun. It is an area located along the eastern coast of the Nile, noting that he was keen to build it and equip it quickly, using relatively small stone blocks that are easy to lift. In 1887 AD, 350 letters were discovered in the city, called Amarna letters. It is diplomatic correspondence between Akhenaten and the kings in Western Asia. Akhenaten is considered the first to establish a modern religion that unifies rituals on one side. During his reign, he established a cult based on the reverence of the god Aton, who was portrayed as the disk of the sun. Aton is a sun disk in the sky extending rays from it downward to reach the royal family, and Akhenaten devoted his efforts to new worship and he built many new temples dedicated to worshipping the god Aton, such as Karnak and Tel El Amarna, as well as large numbers of offering tables. The art during the reign of Akhenaten took new and different forms from the previous period. The royal family was depicted with bodies with elongated necks, long arms and legs, and slender, the most famous of which is the carved image that shows Akhenaten, his wife Nefertiti, and children touching the rays coming from the god Aton. And this image has been interpreted. One of them made it clear that the goal of elongation is to show the transformations that occur to humans upon contact with the rays of the Aton that carry power. Akhenaten was buried in Tel El Amarna, in the cemetery known as the Great Cemetery. This cemetery had traces of a mummy from Tel El Amarna. It is believed that King Tutankhamun was the one who transferred this mummy and relics to Thebes. In the end, did you learn something new? Write to me what did you learn? See you in the next episode.